dreamed about nothing else other than you I always thought I'd be waiting I can stay till the morning, stay till the dawn, but just hold me now. I want to be so much better whenever you're around. I want to say so Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Um, sorry if it's echoing here. I'm in the bathroom and I'm just about to do my skincare. Um, I haven't done my skincare on a vlog with you for ages, so I really fancied doing it today. Obviously, got my heatless curler in. I actually haven't used this for, like, over a week, which is really weird for me because I use it all the time. You guys know if you watch my vlogs a lot. I am obsessed with this Eternal Muse heatless curler. It's just one of the best things ever. But the first thing I'm going to start with for my skincare is this. It's the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. Oh my goodness, I got bought this for Christmas and I love it. I actually have, oh, it's a bit oily. I actually have barely used my Elemis Cleansing Balm since being bought this. It just feels so nice on the skin. It's not scented either. So sometimes if my skin is feeling a little bit sensitive, which it does tend to get sometimes, I'll reach for this more because it's less likely to irritate my skin. I love the fact that it's an oat cleansing balm. I don't know what it is. I just like the idea of it being oat based. And I always find that after using this, my skin feels so nice and clean. And yeah, I'm really trying to make it a habit to do my skincare in the morning. I'm very good at doing it in the evening now, but not so much in the morning. And obviously I've just woken up and you've been in bed for like, what, seven, eight hours, and your skin can probably get really dirty during your sleep. So definitely making it a habit to do my skincare in the morning, and I find it makes a difference to my skin. So I just apply it literally everywhere on my face, just rub it in, and then I will remove it with a flannel, and as I said, it just makes your skin feel so nice. It's also really good at removing makeup as well. I've been using it to remove my makeup too, and it just melts the makeup off. It's so good. I also do want to try, um, quite a few of you have suggested the Body Shop one, and I do really want to try that actually because I feel like Body Shop products are so good and I love Body Shop. So definitely that is something I will be trying, but for the time being, this has been amazing. So I just use a damp, warm flannel just to remove it. And then once I've done that, I'll just dab my face dry so that I can get on with the rest of my skincare. I feel like I've only just discovered over the past few years how important skincare actually is. I used to be one of those girls that did not do skincare. Like when I was a teenager, my skin was awful. Like around the age of 18, probably to 20, my skin was so bad and I would, this is bad, I would sleep with my makeup on. I. I don't know how I did it, um, but I would definitely not do that now. That is, like, literally not go to sleep with a full face of makeup on. I honestly don't know how I did it. 18 to 20 year old Sophie was crazy. <laughs> Skincare really is so important and it does make you feel so good afterwards. I feel like this is a step that makes me feel really good. I love getting new skincare as well. So it's something I really enjoy. So that is it all removed. I don't know why, but this bit looks really red, but in the mirror, it doesn't look red. Maybe it's the lighting. It's very bright in here. But next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Paula's Choice BHA 2%. Yeah, liquid exfoliant. I need to get a new one because as I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs, I got bought this for Christmas as well, but I've got the like little one because I wanted to test it to make sure that I liked it before I had the full size product and I definitely love it. I need to get the bigger one. It's actually really reasonably priced as well. I just feel like after using this, my skin looks so much more, like my complexion looks so much more even because I have quite weird complexion. 
and as I said I've got sensitive skin as well so I feel like this really does help my skin look really clear and just really even that's one thing that really bugs me is my complexion I don't know what it is but it's just so weird <laughs> so I just put it on a little cotton pad and I just wipe it all over my face I always notice that after using this, later on in the day, like when my complexion has toned down, my skin just looks like radiant, like it just looks glowing. And if I pair it all together, it's just such a good combo for my skin. And then once I've applied that, I'm gonna go in with the Waleda Skin Food. I really wanna try the lighter one of this as well. And maybe for like in the day, because I feel like this is really good for like an evening cream because it's so thick. Um, but I'd really like to try the lighter one as well because it's probably just a bit less thick for like the day. But again, this makes my skin glow. I don't know if it's maybe because it's so thick, but it really does hydrate my face. Around this time of the year, I definitely need like a good cream because my face gets so dry. But because I've been using this, my skin actually hasn't gone dry. I normally get really dry patches here. But because I've been using this, my face just feels so hydrated and so, like, smooth and just lovely. And also this smells amazing. So I'm just going to make sure to put it down my neck as well. And to finish off, we're just going to use a little bit of Nivea lip balm because again, my lips get so dry in the winter. We're not about that crispy bacon life, okay? And that is my morning skincare. I'll link all of the products down below if you do want to have a look at anything. Um, it's all really reasonably priced as well. So yeah, definitely worth checking out if you are looking for products to add to your skincare routine. Really flipping hot in here. I think it's because we've got the heating on. It was so cold last night and it's really cold this morning as well. I think it's like minus four at the moment. And uh, Callum left for work this morning and bless him, he put the heating on for me because he knew I'd be cold. I'm literally cold all year round i don't know what it is now that we're in a different lighting this is how glowy your skin will look i love it so i'm now just going to take my hair out because i am filming a what i eat in a day today um it's actually what i eat in a day on keto so i'm not sure if this video is going up before that one but I'll link it down below if it has gone up before this. It probably will, I think. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out if you want to learn about keto. And then I'm going to go and make a cup of tea because I haven't had one yet this morning. And that is illegal. Oh, I feel so much better whenever you're around, whenever you're around. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did. But I promise, dear, I'll never let you go. So don't let go, get close to me. Oh, don't let go, get close to me. Oh my gosh guys, look how nice this breakfast looks. Incredible, it smells so nice. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm so excited to eat it. If you wanna know what's in it, definitely watch the What I Eat In A Day because I talk you through everything that I use. But I wish you could smell how good this smells. I've got the little diffuser burning with the winter scent from the White Company, which is my favorite. I'm gonna be really sad when I stop using that for like the spring scents. But for now, it is so nice. And I'm gonna pop on the TV and just watch something while I eat my breakfast. And then I'm gonna crack on with the day. I think I'm probably gonna go on the bike for a little bit and then I'm going to sort out my clothes with you, which I mentioned in my last vlog. Still haven't done it, but I definitely am gonna do it today with you. So we've got that to do. And I'm also gonna 
tidy up the house. I always feel like I'm tidying the house. It's just adult life, isn't it? No one told me I would constantly be cleaning the house. Breakfast was delicious. So nice. I really recommend that. Um, I thought I'd just show you guys my phone case because it did arrive the other day. Uh, well, yesterday actually. Guys, I dropped my phone. I dropped it when we were out and I nearly cried. Luckily, my phone was absolutely fine. I don't know how because it landed face first. I couldn't, you know when things happen and it almost feels like it's in slow motion and everything just stops and you're just there like, that's, that's what I was like. But it's okay, <laughs> it was fine. Can you imagine if I'd smashed it and I had to replace it straight away? No, I don't want to think about it. Don't want to think about it. But um, as I mentioned in my last vlog, I ordered from Love Cases. So this is the um, like packaging it came in. It just says, hey. And uh, yeah, came in that. But this is the case. So I went for just a clear case so that I could see the colour. Because I thought I've got gold because I like the colour. Why would I then cover it? So I wanted to get a clear one and it just has my name written on the back with a little heart, which I think is so cute. And I'm really glad that I now have a case because I feel less anxious about dropping my phone. Um, and I also got my nails done yesterday. Look how pretty these are. I've never got this color before. I actually did a poll on my Instagram last week and i asked you guys which one you liked best out of like three options and this was one of the options and it was so close guys number one and number two were just so close in the score and then every time i thought one of them had won someone else would then vote and then it made it different again so i was like oh my gosh i don't know which one to get but i went with this in the end just because i'm i'm a plain gal now i really am i'm just simple and i like to have just like simple clean looking nails but yeah this is like a milky white color and i am obsessed i love it it sort of reminds me of like ombre a little bit but it's just the same color the whole way over and it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it actually i don't know if you can see but i love them so cute so the plan for now is that i think i'm gonna get into my workout clothes i've got a film on the tv at the moment and that's always like the perfect time for me to go on the bike because it distracts me <laughs> from the fact that i don't like working out so yeah i'm gonna go on that watch the film while i'm on there i'll probably go on there for like 20 minutes to half an hour and then i'm gonna get ready I mean, I'm not going to do my makeup today because it is literally a day at home. And as I said, I'm just going to be sorting out my clothes and the house and that's it really. So nothing too drastic. So let's get cracking with the day. Right, everyone, it is time to make a start on this wardrobe. I can't put it off any longer. I've got a film on the TV. I find that if i don't want to do something if i have a film or a tv program on in the background i'm more likely to do it so i'm going to show you what my wardrobe looks like little disclaimer i don't want anyone judging me okay i'm already judging myself like massively because this is bad and you will probably be shocked to know that i live like this if i ever want to find something not a chance and i have to pull it all out Let's go, I'll show you. Right, this is the wardrobe. It's bloody awful. Oh my goodness. That's the bottom. Crap everywhere, okay? I want at least half of this wardrobe to be gone by the time I'm done. And then I also have my drawers. That's my underwear drawer, you don't need to see that. Um, tops, random shit um pajamas i really want to get rid of a lot of these because i have like my my standard pajamas now which are from primark they're the boyfriend pajamas and they're my favorite so i don't really need any other pairs apart from like my ultimate favorite ones that i still wear and a pair of fake tan pajamas if you know you know these are all my trousers and i can't even open it trousers leggings all of that kind of stuff like bottoms and then this is just a random like electronics this is just a junk drawer basically boxes for my phone 
boxes, GoPro, Jenga, charades, which we played on Christmas. I don't need to sort this out because I did this not long ago and this literally is just my designated junk drawer. So that can stay as it is because I cannot be bothered. So the plan that I have, um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I normally do it. Normally, I literally gut the wardrobe and I put everything on the bed and then I put it into piles that way. But I'm just going to do one item at a time and just chuck it into a pile because I feel like that will cause less mess. Like I hate when I have all of my clothes on the bed because there are so many like guys, I'm not even joking. It's terrible. Um, so we're going to do it that way. And then I'm going to take a little break because it's quite late in the afternoon and I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm currently just snacking on a cheese string and a cup of tea. But yeah, I'm going to put them all into piles, then take a break, then have lunch, then come back to it. And I'm going to watch the Hunger Games. Hopefully this looks so much better afterwards. I want to get rid of loads. From all things at once without thinking twice and I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones this is currently what I'm dealing with so this is what I'm keeping it looks like a lot more just because I have a lot of coats so it's made it look a lot puffier but I think I might go through it again at the end just to see if there's anything that I can chuck away as well that's the throwaway pile so this there's quite a lot down there to be honest and I've cleared out the wardrobe completely apart from the bottom which are all the little shoes and stuff which I need to go through as well so yes I just I don't know how I accumulate so many clothes I need to stop shopping everyone but it'll all be worth it in the end it'll all be sorted and my mind will feel clear that is everything that is being chucked away guys well not chucked away i'm gonna see if jasmine wants anything um and then i'm gonna take it to charity and then this is stuff i'm gonna try and sell um so i'll link my depop down below because i think i am gonna make a depop and post all of that on there but this is now what the wardrobe looks like um a lot of it is actually taken up by coats um but i have chucked a lot of coats away and that looks so much clearer now and um, they're just like jumpers and stuff and some of my summer clothes that i'll get out when it gets warmer shoes have all been sorted so that looks a lot clearer now so yeah i'm really happy and i've done the drawers as well so i'm now feeling a lot better about what i've got and i know what i've got now whereas before it got a little bit out of control and i had no idea what i had there was so much stuff that i hadn't worn in ages chucked away some things that didn't fit so yeah very happy that it's now sorted good morning everybody it's now a few days later i've actually just been editing this vlog and remembered that i didn't sign it off as per usual this is one of my vlogs <laughs> we all know that i forget to do that um and i feel like i'm always in my pajamas when i'm vlogging um but it's just because it's the morning and i've literally just been editing so i actually haven't vlogged for the past couple of days because i've been at work but i really hope that you have enjoyed spending i think i vlogged over a day didn't i like a cozy day at home so i really hope that you've enjoyed that i feel like i haven't done one of those for a while and it is something that i really really enjoy filming i love filming the vlogs for you we've actually had a week full of good news this week but i had it wasn't all confirmed when i filmed this vlog so i didn't speak about it but we have actually just bought a new car which i'm so excited about and we've actually stuck with another ford so you guys probably know we have a ford at the moment and we have stuck with a ford but we've gone for like a bigger car now it was actually very like spontaneous callum had finished work one evening um and we popped into the showroom that's near us and we had a look at a car that i'd seen online and um, we just asked is it okay if we just quickly have a look at it and he was like yeah that's fine so he opened up the car um we had a look and i loved it straight away I said for a while now that we want 
a bigger car um for when we get a dog and one of the key points that we wanted was like a bigger boot where the dog can fit in it easily which it definitely can in this car and i've always loved having a ford car i love some of like the things that are in the car so i love the cruise control oh my gosh i don't know if this is normal though because a lot of cars have cruise control but you have to keep the foot on the pedal whereas in a ford car you actually don't put your foot on the pedal it's really strange and when i tell people this they're like what and i just thought it was a standard thing but apparently it's not and i love that because it makes motorway driving so much easier so again this car has that um it's very spacious it looks nice i i'm really excited to go and pick it up so we're actually picking it up next week and i actually think i'm gonna get some good news next week hopefully hopefully I won't tell you too much just yet because it's not definite and I don't want to jinx it but everyone please keep your fingers crossed for me without knowing what it is for but keep your fingers crossed please. So yeah it's been a very good week, it's been a good week and I feel like it's a good start to 2023. I might vlog picking up the car, I think I am picking it up on my own though because Callum is at work. I might vlog it, I might not, depends how nervous I get. <laughs> yeah I thought I would just give you a little update on the car because I did mention in my vision board video that we wanted to get a new car this year so that's already a thing that is ticked off of my list amazing so yes thank you so much for watching today's video I really hope that you've enjoyed it I hope you've had a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next video on Wednesday love you guys so much bye